back to my channel thank you for stopping by i'm carol h today we'll be cutting a long corset dress with queen anne neckline this is the fabric we use and this is for the sleeve we'll first of all cut it on the pattern paper before transferring it on the main fabric this is our shoulder line placing our tape on the shoulder line we'll mark 10 inches for our bust line 10 inches for our bust line 13 inches for our under bust line 16 inches for our waistline 25 inches for our hip line 25 inches for our hip line 61 inches for our full length but we'll cut the lining to be 59 inches shoulder line bust line under bust line waistline hip line and our hemming line place the shoulder measurement your shoulder to shoulder measurement divided by two i'm marking seven inches the wideness of our neck three inches we'll come down by one inch for our shoulder slant just mark it like so one inch was we'll connect the dots together the neckline we'll come down by 7.5 inches for armhole whatever your bust measurement is divided by six plus 1.5 inches connect it like so just as the same we do connect it like so connect it like this as well just as the same we do connect it like so we we'll place our bust measurement whatever your bust measurement is divided by four place i'm placing nine inches nine inches we'll connect the line we'll find the midpoint of our armhole divide it into two i'm marking three and a half and a quarter we're we'll going by half an inch going by half an inch because it's the front piece we'll connect it to the nine inches so just take it like this you can use your curve ruler our uh, nipple to nipple measurement place a nipple to nipple measurement a nipple to nipple measurement divided by two i'm placing 3.5 inches place it on the hip line as well 3.5 inches we connect the dots together we take half an inch from both sides on our waistline half an inch this side half an inch the other side will come down by six inches that's where our darts will stop we'll come down by one inch that's where our darts will start from we we'll connect the dots together connect the dots together connect it this way the six inches that we came down from the waistline we'll come to this on that bust line, we'll go in by half and quarter of an inch for that half and quarter of an inch. We mark half and quarter of an inch as well. We'll connect it from the one inch that we came down from the bust line. Curve it like so. We'll curve the other side like so. As you see me do. From the under bust line, we take it down to the waistline. We'll connect it like so. From the chest line, we we'll go up by 1.5 inches. That's the same we do. Mark 1.5 inches. Go by 1.5 inches. That's it. Come to this our shoulder. We we'll divide this side into two. Divide it into two. We we'll connect it to the bust line. Connect it. Come to this under bust line. We we'll measure what we we'll have there. Bring it up here. We we'll divide it into three. Two parts. We place two parts this side. Then one part we place it this side. So this to make the bust to be tightened, extra quarter of an inch on both sides. So adding one and quarter of an inch this side. The other side will be add, marking half and quarter of an inch. That's as you see me do. Mark half and quarter of an inch there. Connect it to the bust line. Connect it like so. That's as you see me do. Connect it like so. Connect it like so as well. So we measure it to check if there is any difference. This one is shorter by half an inch, so we'll add extra half an inch to make them to be equal. We'll come to this side, we'll go in by half an inch, we'll come down by half an inch. That's as the same we do. We'll connect it like so. Place your curve ruler, we'll connect it to the half an inch. we we'll bring it to the underboss line. That's as the same we do. Place it like so. We'll get to the other bust line. For this side, we'll come here. We'll come in by half an inch on that chest line. We'll come in by half an inch. That's how you see me do. We'll come in by half an inch. More than half an inch. By half an inch. 
that line will remain like that just place it like so see me the line is just like that i'm marking that line again from that half an inch now take it to the bust line on that bust line sorry take it to the under bust line that's fine i see the way it is also get the thing and neckline bring it down like so let's take it like that I see the way it is. Make sure what we have here and replace it here. We have two inches, so I'll be placing two inches there. So that means is divide it into four plus the one inch of the dart. So that dart, place it there at the waist line. Just as you see me do. Place it at the waist line. We come to the hip. We're making our front arc separate and our back arc separate. We'll come down by one inch from the hip line. So that uh, it will fit us very well after sewing it. There is a way the shape of our hip is. So we'll connect it like so. The hip measurement that we're working with is 38 inches. So we'll place 18 inches at the front arc. So divide 18 divided by 2 is 9 inches. We'll place 9 inches here. 9 inches. We'll come here as well. We'll place 9 inches as well. The 1.5 inches that we came down. We'll place 9 inches as well. Go to the hemming line, we place nine inches as well at the hemming line. Nine inches at the hemming line. So as you do, place nine inches at the hemming line. We connect the dots together. Connect the dots together. Connect the dots together. Connect the dots together. We we'll come to this hemming line. For us to get our pencil skirt, we'll go in by one inch. Mark one inch there. For us to be able to get the perfect pencil skirt. Connect it to the 1.5 inches that we came down from the hip line. Connect it there. Like so. Connect it like so. We place our seam allowance. We place in 2 inches for our seam allowance. Okay, okay, there. This one. We connect the lines together. Connect the lines together. Cut it out. Cut it out. Cut it out. Cut it out. We did not connect this half an inch. I'm supposed to connect it like so. I'm sorry for that. Connect it like so. So we'll cut it out there. Cut it out. Close it out. Can see the outcome. Close it out. For the skirt part. Close it out. Cut it out. This is for our back piece. I've already placed the line. This line. I've placed all the lines already. I left two inches here for our seam allowance. Our bust line. Our waist line. Our hip line. The 1.5 inches that we came down from the hip. And the hemming line. Place our tape on the shoulder line. We mark seven inches for our shoulder. The shoulder measurement divided by two, just as we did at the front. Our neck, the wideness of our neck, three inches. We come down by one inch for our shoulder slant. Come down by one inch for our shoulder slant. Connect it to the wideness of the neck. Just as the same we do. Let it like so. Come down by one inch. For our neck depth, connect it to the three inches. So we we'll place our armhole just as we did at the front. The first measurement divided by six plus 1.5 inches. Connect it like so. Connect it like so as well. Place our boss measurement on the chest line. The first measurement divided by four. Place it like so. We we'll find the midpoint divided by two. Mark it three and a half and a quarter and we connect it to the nine inches for to the bus measurement. So as the same we do. Connect it like so. Place our nipple to nipple measurement divided by two, three point five inches. Place in three point five inches on the waist line as well. The hip line. Connect it like so. Just as the same we do. The waist line to the hip line. We we'll come down by six inches from the hip line. Now by six inches, we take half an inch from both sides, half an inch from this side, half an inch from this side. Take it to the post line, to the waist line, to the waist line, to the 6.5 inches that we came down from the hip line. Sorry, from the waist line. Place our hip measurement. You know, we use our front as separate and our back as separate. So the 20 inches that is left. We're marking 10 inches 
on the hip line. 10 inches. Mark 10 inches. On the 1.5 inches that we came down, we'll mark 10 inches as well. So the same we do. Mark 10 inches as well. And the hemming line, mark 10 inches as well. This is the same we do. Place 10 inches. We'll connect the dots together. Connect the dots together. Get our pencil sketch just as we did at the front. Going by one inch, one inch, connect it to the 1.5 inches that we came down from the hip line. Connect it there, that is like so. Connect it, place our seaming allowance just as we did at the front. Placing two inches, connect it to the two inches. In allowance, in allowance, in allowance. We're not using that line again. Now we're going to connect the dots together. Connect the dots together. We'll come to this center back of the back piece. We're going by one inch from the hemming line. Going by one inch. Connect it to the 1.5 inches that we came down from the hip line. Let's take it straight. Connect it like so. We're not using this line again. Place our new similar ones there, two inches. From the hemline, I will mark two inches. Two inches. Let's mark it like so. Two inches. Two inches. Two inches. We'll connect it like so. This is our back piece is ready. Okay. Cut it out. Cut it out. Cut it out. Cut it out. We'll come to this center back. We'll go by one inch so that the zipper will not budge out. Connect it there. But I'm not budge out after sewing it. Cut it out. Close it that. Close it that. Let's see me do. Close it that. Is the outcome? Close it that. Close it that. Close it that. that. This is for our sleeves. Twenty four inches by nine inches. Put it into two places. Come to this side, we'll come down by three inches. Mark the three inches. Connect it to the other side. Connect it to this place. Just take it down, curve it. Just curve it gradually. Very nice. So we'll come to this side, we'll mark five points, five inches at the hemming line, as including the seaming allowance. Connect it to the 3.5 inches that we came down. Cut it out. Cut it out. Cut it out. Cut it. This is the cut out for the front piece. I left half an inch for the seaming allowance. I see the way it came out. This is the way we are going to join it. Bring the two pieces together like so. Let's do it with half an inch. Inch. Let it will turn out this way. This is for the cups this is where we're going to join we're going to toss the on it we're not going to sew it the normal way you see the one placing it just toss the on it you see the one I'm sewing it that's why I need it to come out this way you see the way the cup is come on this is for the skirts I left half an inch this side I half an inch at the hemming line as well for the seaming allowance it's for the front piece it's for the back piece I left half an inch half an inch then this is for the scatter part of the back piece. I left half an inch. If I'm so we're going to join it. Join it with half an inch. After joining it, when you drag it up, it will now be equal for the one inch that we made the lining to be shorter. You see the way it will come out after sewing it. So it's this side as well. So this side as well. And when you turn it out, this one. This is the Back piece this is the way we're going to sew on it. Front side first on the front side. Front side first on the front side. I'll sew the, it. It's half an inch this way. That's why I need you notch on it and toss switch on the lining side. For this part of the front piece, I'll sew on it. It's half an inch. Front side first on the front side. I'll sew on it with half an inch. So on it with half an inch. After sewing, I need you top stitch on the lining side. When you turn out to come out this way. There's the cup. I'm done with sewing the cup. I've as well sewed the cup side. You can see the way it is. 
Let's switch on it. That's the way we came out. I use soft pepper for it. That's the way it is. So this is the way we are going to do it now. Place it this way and gum it. Gum it with pressed nylon. Use pressed nylon and press on it. They to stick together. Just can't do that. Come back. Press it very well. Give it a good press. I'm done with pressing it. So the way it came out. That's the second one. So this is how we're going to join this fabric on it. This fabric. Just place it on it like this. The one placing it. Just pin it this way. Stop pin it with one machine on it. Pin it on the machine. So the way it is. So just run stitches on it round. And then we stitching it. This so is the way it came out. The way it is. So front side first and the front side. We'll place it this way. Find the center. Find where you notched on it. You sew it gradually with half an inch. So it gradually with half an inch. So it this way with half an inch. That's why we send the second part as well. We turn out this way. Let's go to the machine and sew it. This is the skater part. I've joined it already. We join it at the hemming line. Join it. So we sew the side. So the side down. I sew the other side as well. When you drag it up, it will be this way. I'm done with joining the back piece. I sewed on it, notch on it. Then toss stitch on the lining part. So the way it is. This is the outcome. So I'll turn it this way now. Sew the side and sew the other side as well. Then turn it. This is the front piece. I'm done with joining it. I've as well sewed the same thing on the lining. This is the way it is. So what we're going to do now is replace it this way. Front surface and the front side. Place it like so. We bring this part of the front piece. We place it this way. Front side facing the front side. Back side facing the back side. You can see the lining side facing the lining side. We sew it this way with half an inch. Place the second side as well. Sew it. See the way it turned out. See the way it came out. See it. So I'm going to notch on it. Without stitch on the lining side. See the way it is. The way it is, so we'll turn it this way now. I sew the side, sew the side, sew the side, and turn it inside out. This is the skater part of the front piece. I'm done with sewing it. This is the one inch that we drag it up. This is the way we're going to join it. The front piece, I'll toss stitch on this side. This is the way we're going to join it. Front side facing the front side. So it's like so, it's half an inch. So it's like this. Let me turn it out with this way. This is the back piece. I've as well sewed it. Then I did with the front piece of the skater part. That's the lining side. That's the way it came out. That's the way we're going to join it. Place it this way. Once I first have so it is the outcome. I'm done with sewing the front piece. That's the back piece. I've as well sewed the back piece. I see the way it came out. I've joined it. But as well, I prize the zipper. I see the way it came out. This is the zipper. This is the slit side. I'm going to apply hemming gum on it and press it with pressing iron. See the way it came out. So what we're going to do now is to join the both shoulders together. The way we're going to front side face and the front side. We place it this way. I see the one placing it. Place it this way, then turn the lining side of the other one, turn it like so. The one turning it, turn it like this, make it a bit equal. Place it like so. Sew it with half an inch. Just sew it with half an inch. The one sewing it with half an inch. That's sewing to turn out this way, the way to turn out. Let's do it the back side, to turn out. I'm done with sewing it. This is the outcome. You can see the way it came out. So this is how we're going to join the sleeve. You find the midpoint of the sleeve. 
and join it on the shoulder where you join the shoulder just sew it this way so you can put half an inch all the way around after saying when you turn it out it will come out this way so the way it came out but first of all hem, we hem this hemming line we hem it like after hemming it we we'll now sew it all the way down to shape it up and we are done the video is too long already let's shape it and show this up this is the outcome thank you for watching this is the back slit i use hemming gum thank you for watching like subscribe to my channel see you in my next one bye <music>